God, it's that moment. I hope you can hear me. I'm just on the BA flight and about to take off on my holiday and I thought I would go through my hand luggage. Now I might have my lovely man again. Do you remember when we did this before, the man who was on the plane and we had a long chat. But um, I just thought I'd take through because I've got so many bags here, it's embarrassing. Um, and it's a long flight that I'm on. Hello everybody, how are you? And I really, I didn't think, can you hear me okay? I just didn't think I was gonna get away because there were so many issues around going away. Um, there were lots of issues. Hello, Joe, darling, I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas right now. Hello, Mithun, can you hear me okay? I'm just checking if you could hear me. Is that all right, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Just say yes if you can hear me. <laughs> it would be so nice to see you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, where are we? Hair looks fab, thank you so much. I had a blow dry yesterday. All good, Hebe, thank you so much. So, I'm wearing my Christmas presents that I got from Charles. So I'm gonna show you those first because there's nothing nicer than wearing your Christmas presents. So, I got the silver bag, which I love. And it's just the biggest treat. I've always looked at those bags and never um, thought I could spend that kind of money on them. And then I have an amazing yellow scarf, like a Trini London Land scarf. So that's my sort of flight coziness. And then I've got lots of different Trini London bags. Any luck? Oh, I'm just doing a live. Don't worry, darling. Sit, come and say hello. Can we just... Can we, Francesca's going to be looking after me. I love BA staff so much. Sorry, that's great. Thank you. No luck, but that's all right. So I'm now going to show you the one that says plain. Plain is all the things that I need. And I've got various members of my family all in different parts of the plane because we've got what seats we could get. Thank you so much. Vitamin C is key. Like, I will always take it on the plane extra because it's just good. It's the antioxidants. You know, we're traveling. Traveling is risky in the world we live in today. So for me, vitamin C is key. Another thing I love is Affinity Organics, the spray, because I want to have that lovely spray. I'm gonna show you what I do with my skin. So I put that spray on. Usually I don't wear makeup when I wake up in the morning and go to the flight. Um, I got a tiny bit of BFF on, but then I'll take it off. I've got an SPF 50, a new one I'm looking at, um, which I will put on before I land. Then I've got TCP. Now TCP is that old fashioned thing that makes your whole bloody bag smell. But I'm going to Caribbean. But you know what happens with TCP is it kills bacteria in your throat and your mouth. So I'm gonna gargle a bit during the flight. I know I'm Mrs. Paranoid, but I need to tell you my little tricks. And I put some up my nose with a cotton bud. I just feel it kills germs and I kind of love this. Amanda, am I becoming too repetitive? I'm so sorry if I am. If I'm repetitive for you, darling, switch off and go and watch somebody much more fun. I've got Eyelure, my favorite eye drops. I've got here Demamiel. This is called Altitude um, Oil, and it's really good to balance you when you fly because flying, ups, you know, it's our upsets our, not cardiac rhythm, what's that rhythm of our body? And so I put that on here, and I'll put that on the pillow behind me. Just, I want to inhale through the flight. That healthy, it's got lavender, it's got different things in it. Um, I'm going to the Caribbean. And then, you know, we always talk about how can we reuse our Trini pots? I reuse them so many ways, but this, these are two pots. One of them contains sizzly mask, and the other one contains a moisturizer. And I just have those and I will lather them on me for the flight. So that's kind of all the things that had to go in that liquid section. Um, and it's a good bag of tricks. You know, these are things that allowed me to travel safely quite often. Now, I've got another bag here, sunglasses. I found, you know when you're on the beach and you've put on your reading glasses and you just feel super uncalled, have a look, made some sunglasses that are reading glasses and I always forget to do this because if you're plus one and a half, plus two, 
you just get your reading glasses, but you don't invest in the concept of glasses. So these are fantastic. Also, if you have a look, like 30 euros. Then I found these in the back of my cupboard, and I thought, am I that glass or not? I don't know. Quickly. Maybe. Anyway, it's like a 10-year-old glass that I'm just going to try, because I don't know if you saw, did you see my coats yesterday? The coats, I have to say, was a really, it was a, a sort of a vomit. Sounds awful worth that, but it was really like so many coats. And I think I'm getting to a stage in my life where I want to colour a lot and I want to do a big sale. And I'm going to talk to you about this further, where I'm going to get rid of about probably half of my clothes because I just have too much stuff. And I always keep it for closet confessions. It's like my archive and my library to do good closet confessions. But I just can't handle looking at it. People who left comments um, on my Instagram and Facebook and they really resonated when they said, oh, there's so many homeless people do stuff for charity and I, I do a lot for charity. But it also reinforced for me the importance of, I don't need so much stuff in my life. I just wonder how many of you feel that you don't need so much stuff in your life. You know? um, I'm going to tell you about the mask. I'm literally the advertiser for these masks. I bring 10 with me, and if I see people I'm going to sit close to, I say, do you want to borrow a mask? I got this mask, the idea of the mask, from a very good friend of mine called Catherine. The flush blush, Catherine. And she said it's the best mask to travel with. She travels a lot because it covers you under here, at the side, you can breathe, you look like a duck, don't give a shit. Anyway, that's it. I got in on Amazon. So I gave two to some people I saw on the plane who are friends of mine. And um, I just thought, hmm, would you like a... I feel like giving it to the man behind me if he's wearing a bad mask, but I don't quite think I can do that. Do you think I could do that? Is this just going past the point of happy etiquette? Um, so, okay, then, the best long-term charger, Akva. I got it at Apple, 92 hours of charge. And I'm going probably, I might be landing, then I might be taking a little plane, then I might be waiting for hours in airport, then I might take a boat to get to somewhere and get it to. So it might be a very long journey where I won't have access to plugging in and out. So this baby will keep me going. I've got my favorite, favorite, favorite mask. Yeah. I mean, it, it just covers everything, including my glasses. But there's no, I don't get imprint of mask. I don't get mask face. And you have the best night's sleep. It's a really soft, soft silk. And it's called, I think it's called Drowsy, the brand. Drowsy, D-R-O-W-S-Y. I've got a hold of that. Then I've got earplugs. Now these earplugs, these babies, these babies cut out the biggest neighbor's snore that you will ever have, including your partners, including anything. And what I do is I literally, I put quite a lot in and I seal my ear. I don't put a little bit in and put it far down. I literally seal my ear and it's a miracle, phenomenal. And I get them from only from America and they're called Max, M-A-C-K-S. The best earplugs you'll ever get. Um, flannel cloth for my hair and put that back. Welcome so on board, everyone. Here at Mr. Chairways, you're welcome to hold the glasses. This is my dry stuff, dry stuff, okay? Leslie, you've been clearing out your stuff. I think it's good to clear out. Um, Angela, you just had a clear out selling my stuff in secondhand pop-up shop here in Bidabitha. Happy Christmas. Good to do. Airplanes have plugs to stay charged, you silly. Sally, they do, but I'm going on a tiny plane which won't. I'm in an airport that probably won't very small and I'm on a boat that won't so I've got a long journey after my main journey and I need to do that um, turning 50 changes you in so many ways says Jennifer including re-evaluating your friends keeping those who are meaningful so much happens you're, you're so right um, Jane miss the beginning so don't know where you're going have a wonderful Christmas thank you so much um, I, I will thank you so Finel, which I haven't used yet, actually, sorry. These are anti-microbacterial wipes. 
and they clean, they kill, 90. this is the amount of germs they kill, 99.9999999 of germs. Okay, hand them over. Hand whatever. Oh, here's my sister. Say hello. Say hi, Wiggs. There's Wiggs. Wiggs has come for some... I'm doing a live on Facebook. Okay. There's uh, 1,900 people watching. This is Wiggs, as in blusher Wiggs. Um, and she's come for some little things for her seat. Okay, Wiggs, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you... What do you want? Do you want something to relax? Yeah. Okay. I am literally... There you go. Well, That's sure, I want to And then there. And do you want a melatonin? Yeah. Okay, melatonin. Um, yes, melatonin. <laughs> melatonin. Excellent. Anything yeah, that, else? That's, that's it. Fantastic. All right, darling. All right. See you later. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've got my darling, my my nephew, got engaged to a lovely lady who has come all the way from India, Shreya, and Shreya has a BFF um, de-stress named after her. Shreya flew from Delhi to Mumbai, Mumbai to London. She's been flying for 24 hours. Now she's flying with us from London to where we're going. So she hasn't had any sleep. Um, the, please don't seal your ears totally. Not good to do on a plane. That's very true, actually. I need to be able to equalize. Thank you, that's a good point. Because I seal in London, but I haven't sealed fully maybe yet on the plane. That's really good. Really good. We're going to go quite soon. Now, did you know that Trini London makeup, when it's like this one, you don't have to put it in the in the plastic because it's hard. It's not liquid. So I've got Wisdom Eyes, Katie, Lip um, Cheer Shimmer, Lip to Cheek. I've got fabulous Freddie and VB tea tones. These are ones I take on holiday, by the way. I've got Lady J and Nicole tea tones, which are divine and so nice. A little bit of shimmer. I've got Miracle Blur. Where would I be without it? And I've got Swala. So I'm going to have a little bit more of a tanned look. I've got my tea kit, so I can do things everywhere. I've got my tea topper, so I can do my makeup anywhere. I've got my mascara. That's that. What haven't I shown you? I've got a tremendous amount of food. Oh, these. These little babies. Now, I was in... I think a day after I went to Liverpool, a lady gave me these. These are toothpaste that are in little containers like that. So I use my teapot and I fill it with these toothpaste things. I always believe if you've got um, uh, teapots and they're finished, clean them out and then use them for other things. You can use them for earplugs, you can use them for toothpaste stuff. I use them for pills, I use them for makeup, when I, uh, skincare when I travel. Everything has a reuse and should be. Um, won't be Indian Ocean then. Mm, maybe something far from Caribbean this year. I might do. Uh, Joseph, thank you so much for that. I feel I do need a holiday. When I went to New York, it wasn't really a holiday, it was a lot of work. And um, and so this is a proper holiday with my family. And we haven't had a Christmas holiday like this for a long, long time. So it was really touch and go whether we'd even get to go. So I'm so excited. Um, so excited. And then I think, oh yes, I've got inside my soft bag, which is the one I always travel with, 20 year old Helen Sugar. I got this from Amazon, which is the large size Thing that you put all the, your bits and bobs in. But when you have a soft bag, they're brilliant. They're 12 pounds. Say hello, Lila. Hi. I've got a whole grade for myself. You have? Yeah, I have. That's so good, darling. Now, I need you. I'm going to come and get you these. Yes, all right. Everyone's coming here for everything. Um, hold on one second. There we go. Okay, there you go, darling. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Water, I Do I take it now? Um... Yes, take it. You have got water. Okay, fine. All right. Can you open? All right, ladies, sorry. <laughs> I know. Um, what? Do I feel the need to eat when I'm sleep when I'm on the plane? I do, because I'm, it's a day flight and I'm bored, so I went to Pratt. If you want to bring me a pillow, please feel free. I will, darling. So I went to Pratt and I got, you know, two boiled eggs, but... 
some chocolate. I got sort of things like that. I've got a nice, I've got a nice salmon salad. I mean, really, we don't need these to look at my collection, but I've got food for the long flight. And then also, what would I not do without my avocados and butter? Because on a plane, you need avocados. How many pounds are I allowed in a humbug? Um, Carmen, I've never had my bag weighed. Um, I've always gone on a regular airline, by that I mean like BA or mainly British Airways, and they don't weigh your hand luggage on British Airways. I think probably on, on Ryanair and maybe a few other airlines, they might weigh your hand luggage, but they don't do that on BA. So, so it's never been an issue. Um, they're just a really great. I love them as an airline. I've always flown with them. And I know, I don't know, I'm patriotic. Patriotic with my airline. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to Caribbean. I'm not saying where specifically because, you know, it's a sort of family hole. But um, I just wanted to check in with you. And I just want to say thank you. Um, we'll catch up before the end of the year. But thank you for all your support this year. Um, and... We've just got through a lot together. It's been a hell of a year. And I think that we do, I am everyone's mum on this holiday, it's very true. And I think that we do have a lot to reflect on of what we want to do next year. How, what do we want, no, I'm not in first class. How do we want to make our next year? You know, so I'm gonna think about that a little bit over the holiday and think, what do I want to do differently? So I always write this list, which is not my sort of, what I want list. It's my list of my intentions for the year. And I'll start to be thinking about that. Um, and, you know, it might include things like be more patient when I'm getting somebody to learn something, or whatever it might be to make sure Lila's future is secured in the next stage. Because we went to America and she did get accepted with one university and not the other, and now she's wondering about going. So we're going to have a long chat about that over the holiday and figure out what she wants to do. And I think for these girls who are 18 now, who spent 16 to 18 basically under lockdown, I think they're growing up slower. And I part of me does actually think, should she do a gap year? Should she have that time to grow into herself a little bit more? And then she might decide she doesn't want university and she goes straight to a job. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Let me know if you're having those same feelings around having a daughter or a son at the same age and what you're feeling about it. And um, we'll catch up soon, no doubt. And I hope wherever you are this year, you get to be with people that you love and you get to be loved. And it might be, you know, if I hadn't been able to go on this holiday, I would have made everything work at home and I would have probably spent more time sorting through my cupboards which is quite good for me to step away from and do that in the new year um, so anyway I just yeah and I do want to keep people buoyant and I'm very aware that I'm really lucky to get away um, so I'm sending you all so much love and um, we'll catch up soon we'll catch up probably before the end of um, Christmas you know